You notice that the early part of the program, I had a little trouble with a cat. And that's kind of the story of my life. Dogs like me very much. I remember the first dog I had. And I'll never forget the dog catcher came around to pick him up. And I asked why, and he said, he didn't have a license. And I said, I didn't know. And the dog catcher said, how old is the dog? And I said, well, he's a year, two years old. And the dog catcher says, well, you have to have a license if the dog is one year old. And I said, you don't understand. You see, for the first year, I had him up on blocks. So I wasn't sure he had to have a license. Something I uh, want to talk to you about, you know, you probably not read in the paper that all of the major networks this coming year in television are going to donate one hour a week, you know, to public service programming. And Dinah's kind of given me a couple of minutes tonight to get the thing started because I think this involves the entire country. You probably read in the paper that President Eisenhower says that we have a surplus in the budget this year of $2 million, right? Now, you know what's going to happen. England's going to come over and they're going to want to borrow a million and then some other, and we're going to piddle it away. Now, I look at it this way. It's our money. We all chipped in. I have a great idea. Let's keep it right here in this country and have a big picnic for the entire country, right? Why not? Now, I'll tell you what. Let's make it this coming Thursday afternoon, okay? Keep Thursday afternoon open, and we'll hold it in Nevada. Nobody's home in Nevada on Thursday afternoon. Now, New York, you bring a covered dish and coleslaw. Uh, Massachusetts, bring some baked beans. Um, Idaho, you're responsible for the, you know, baked potatoes and not too much parsley, you know, like last year. Um, <laughs> Georgia and Alabama, southern fried chicken, you know, with a crust. And, uh, oh, for guys' sakes, we got to have uh, hot dogs. Texas, you bring the hot dogs and get in touch with Pennsylvania because they're bringing the charcoal. Now, look, it's Thursday afternoon, and I don't want anybody calling Wednesday night saying, can I bring Canada? No, because, you know, we've got just food for, for, for 50 states, you see, and if somebody wants to bring Canada, and somebody say, can I bring Cuba? And then somebody say, can I bring Spain? And we can't have Cuba and Spain at the same party because it's, uh, it's going to be trouble. And now, New Jersey is going to be at the door, and they're not going to let anybody in who isn't invited. Now, Michigan, you bring the chairs. California, bring, you know, the redwood tables. Bring the long redwood tables and a uh, couple of extra leaves. And uh, <laughs> incidentally, California, if you've still got the flu by Thursday, stay home. Uh, or if you do come, at least cover Los Angeles when you cough. Now, let's see what else we have here. Oh, Rhode Island, you know, you bring matches and uh, bottle opener for Vermont. And let's see. Oh, incidentally, uh, Hawaii, I understand you're having a little trouble getting a sitter, but we, uh, we hope you can make it anyway. Now, incidentally, we got to clean up Nevada after the picnic so we can hold it again there next year. So Washington, D.C. is in charge of the cleanup detail, and Arizona is going to let us use the Grand Canyon. All the junk goes in Grand Canyon after the picnic. <laughs> now, I tell you what, if it rains on Thursday, the picnic is off, but don't worry, Mr. and Mrs. Eisenhower promised to take us all to a movie. So I'll see you there. All right. <laughs>